So this is a little rewind when I got four ostriches. I know there's only three in the picture, but one is between the row of the seats. And uh, that was kind of a mistake to have them in the cabin. Uh, yeah, they can be pretty strong even though they're like two months old. And, uh, and they can kick, they can do all kinds of stuff in the car. Uh, yeah, it was really scary. So I decided to put them in the house and uh, the only thing that I know from experience now that uh, they pee all over the place so there was another reason to not have them in the cabin uh, put them in the back but I had to put down plastic to protect the cargo space as well. Oh my god, please stay calm. I'm not gonna do this anymore like this. Oh, this is dangerous. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Oh my God, I have to do something. I have the emus in the protective. Oh, I need the glasses to make sure they don't pick my eyes. But I have the emus in the car. I mean, ostriches. Okay, so I had to build a quick uh, ostrich safe system. I haven't finished cover, uh, covering it with cedar, uh, but uh, I know from my first experience that they pee everywhere. So I had to put this plastic so this whole truck is not gonna smell like pee. So this is the pee safe version of the tiny truck bed, cargo space. And uh, of course the plastic to prevent the pee going all over the place and uh, the cedar to prevent puncturing the plastic and prevent the feet sliding. So this episode uh, I'm going to the Coil Run uh, ostrich farm to pick up the two month old ostrich babies. The previous episode I was uh, taking the deposit to have the uh, money down and finally uh, it has arrived when I can get my ostrich babies this time. So here in the 80s, there yes. were some around before, but they were tremendously expensive. 50 grand, 50 grand, 80, 90 thousand dollars a pair. How much was an egg? I think several well, thousand. What happened was we got mm -hmm. a lot of shysters, a lot of the suede shoe boys that come in here, get rich quick people. Mm -hmm. The ostrich became the animal of the week, like the pot belly pigs, yeah, like the alpacas, like the llamas. Gee, we're all gonna make a million dollars doing this, yeah. And these crooks got in and mm. they would come up to me and say, Dr. Smith, listen, we are going to buy a pair of ostriches. They're only 90,000 bucks. I'm going to get Dr. Jones to cough up half. If you'll cough up half, then I'll raise them and yeah. we'll sell the egg. Thousand bucks a piece for an egg. Mm. Well, you know what happened here. It was a pyramid mm. scheme built, 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 and then it collapsed. Yeah. People went to jail. People are still in jail for fraud really? because of this. Wow, I didn't know that. That is correct. I heard about the prices going crazy, but They're I not had just not... crazy fraud. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when it collapsed, we had um, people walking away. Uh, mm -hmm. My ex partner was involved in getting three hundred out of Acton. The people walked away, left them to starve. County of Los Angeles came wow. in and said, "What are we going to do?" Got a hold of my partner. He said, "I'll take the birds if I can have them." They said, "Come and get them." So they rounded them up, took almost two weeks to get them all. Wait a minute, you said 300? 300 birds starving to death. What? These people went to jail. They're still in jail for fraud. Wow. But this is indicative of what happens. You couldn't give them away. Well, the mm. industry rolled over, and now it is mm. agriculture. Only mm. idiots with beards like me stayed in it. <laughs> and we were raising birds for agriculture. It's mm. just like raising pigs or just like raising cows yeah it's agriculture eggs are 50 bucks now you know the birds depending on what well you know a couple of month old chicks six seven hundred bucks yeah. it's not like it was we're yeah. like raising calves mm -hmm. so things have changed now there was a lot of people involved that really didn't have a clue what they were doing you would hear and read you still wear will yeah. read a lot of uh, just flat lies and inaccuracies so you need to be careful who you listen to 
Um, you need to talk to people who have been in it. A lot of us are self-taught. A lot of us are educated. I'm an educated man. Y- yes. I have a degree in zoology. So y- no, I know a I lot about you. the birds yeah, on yes. this end, but also mm-hmm. I went through the school of hard knocks. I just lost one baby this morning. Wow. I don't know why. Uh-huh. There's a lot that is still unknown, but be careful who you listen to. Yeah. Be careful because so many of yes. them couldn't hit their butt with a boat oar. They don't yes. know what they're talking about. Yeah, Feeding he, he, alfalfa he, like this is the answer. This is the it best is natural. The cause. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and you know the other thing that I was surprised, like some people say, oh, uh, you have to give exactly like I don't know twenty percent protein. No. You cannot be less or no. more because that would cause no. the lack problem. No. no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. The, the key mm-hmm. here is not giving too much protein. They are inaccurate. Mm-hmm. If you feed these birds like a game bird starter, which is very high in protein, to grow a pheasant. What they do, they literally will outgrow their body. They grow so fast anyhow, yes. a foot a month, yeah. that they literally will outgrow it and you get bowed legs. You want the protein down, uh-huh. okay? I used to feed rat uh pellets to a, to a lot of these things. It's, yeah. I can't get it in bulk anymore. Mm-hmm. I feed a lay pellet, a chicken lay pellet. Chicken lay, okay. I, I feed it a lot. Uh-huh. of alfalfa lots yes. of alfalfa whatever they will yeah. eat look out here right now you'll see these birds scarfing down on a yes of you know I, I actually also grow a little alfalfa there in the go. garden it is fresh. The perfect food and, and they love the fresh one it is nature's yes wonder food yes the bird right there is eating on a flake of hay right there you see <laughs> yeah that's what you feed these things yes and i also throw them a little rolled corn only because it's uh-huh. like dessert they love the grain Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. But feed them just a pe- and feed pellets because uh-huh. there's less waste. Yeah. That's why you don't want to be wasting. Yeah. Your birds ought to be getting somewhere between four, four and a half pounds per bird uh-huh. per day. I measure four point two pounds per bird. Yeah. That's what they get. Four point two pounds. Plus whatever pounds. else. Uh-huh. Remember, uh-huh. a happy bird. It's a productive bird. Yes. You're not in this for your health. You want them to generate I remember eggs. you telling on, on the video that uh, uh, 80 eggs, if you yes. feed them well. Th- these two birds right here, 83 yes. and 89 eggs. Oh, awesome. They will lay a lot of eggs. You take care of their needs and wants. Yeah. See them eating the hay? So whoever told you not to feed them alfalfa was in error. I don't know at all. Uh, there's a no, lot yes, about no, these No, I, I understand. I know. understand. Um, but I've learned the hard way because yeah. people have lied to me. Yes. It ended up not being true what they were saying. Okay, so this is how you guys have the water. Like I want to check it. This is for my trees. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, the trees. Okay, okay. Yeah. But, Be- see? but but how how is the small like, water? So it always Easy refills. To Easy to clean. It, it refills. Sure. Because because There's I have the pellets like a, and a little bit of uh, uh-huh. corn they eat. Yeah. There's their alfalfa. This is how you feed these birds. Yes. And give them a little too much. I don't care if I feed the ravens. It's cheap. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Let them eat. Make them yeah. happy. Wow. These are happy birds. Uh-huh. That's what you want. Yeah. Even though they may try to kill you, you want them happy. I know. I heard the uh, the one broke your arm. Once. Yeah. Right there. Oh wow. Got kicked. See them eat? Yeah, they don't like hay, do they? I'm telling you, alfalfa is nature's wonder food. It is full of so many minerals, you would not believe it. Mm-hmm. It's good for you, too. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the handling. Oh, my God. Yeah, I see the red. Oh, he's, he's vicious. Mating v- uh, vicious. Vicious. You have to be so careful with him. He's uh-huh. vicious. <laughs> they don't have to be mean. The thing you have to remember, mm-hmm. this is an African black, much more docile. Smaller bird, much oh, more okay. docile. Oh, these are docile. Raise more, docile. more eggs, uh-huh. though. Yes, 120 little, eggs or something. Sure. Little Al here is, yeah. is really a sweetheart. That being said, I mm-hmm. don't get in with him. Yes. We leave him alone. Uh-huh. You just don't want to screw with them. They're yeah, not okay, a pet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing I was going to ask. Like, uh, Not a pet. Not a pet. Not a pet, ever. Don't, don't get in. No, nah, leave him alone. Yeah. So, so when you want to... Okay, so, so the only thing is just drop them feed and, and uh, make sure the water. So I, I guess... But, but how you clean the water then? I dump it. You dump it? Dump it. But you, you get in then? No? No, I do it from the outside. Oh, from the outside. I do everything from the outside. I leave these roosters alone. Oh, okay, okay. You know, the only time we get in with the roosters is if we have to get an egg. If it's Uh too far to be gotten with a a net and a pole, Uh I open the gate, drive the truck in, pick it up. Oh, yes, yes, riding the truck. There's no future in you getting hurt, kicked, or the bird getting hurt. Yeah. And so just run in, get it, get out. Leave them alone. Yeah. Put them in. They're happy. You're happy. Leave them alone. Not a pet. 
Yes, <laughs> not ate that. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> you want to feed them, they're still a little young. Okay. They're being converted to pellets right now. They are eating some pellets, okay. but they still want this crumble. Okay. So that's, we're we're going to go look and you'll see. And yeah. you're going to want to feed them that. So feed them the alfalfa, like I said, shake out the chafe. Mm -hmm. You know, you want the leaves for yeah. them. Uh -huh. And feed them a lot of that. Feed them a little bit of, uh, of your pellets. Yeah. And feed them you know, a little bowl full of crumble. Make sure there's feed all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yes, I have feed all the time. And water all the time. Yes, all the time, of course. Very important. You've got an impaction. Yeah. Impaction. I would say 99% of the time you have a bird loss. It's dehydration impaction. or it is impaction, impaction from eating foreign objects foreign or object. debris. Okay. 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 You know, I also noticed one of the chick had like one eye kind of closed and I thought it's just sleepy, like lazy eye. I mean, the, the one that died, I wonder why, like one eye was always like... Uh, Sometimes they do that, they, 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 do get, that. they get weak or they get oh, tired so nothing, and uh, they will stand up and just close their eyes and okay. sleep. Could be mm -hmm. without seeing it. And then again, I'm not sure I would know either. Yeah, okay. These, these things die sometimes. Yes. That's why we do not sell Dale chips anymore. Yes, I wait they till, die easier. Yeah, I wait until they two to three months. I'm thinking about going to four months. I'm tired of having people have them die. Yeah. Because of the foreign sure. objects. They will not listen. And then... Yeah. And you, you said once they reach six months, they're indestructible. Right? Just about bulletproof. bulletproof. I mean, you could have... If you break a leg, you got a dead bird. But other than yeah. that, they're tough. And by the time they're six months, you know, they're this big. Yeah. They're bigger than your emus. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty tough to handle at that point. So, short of domestic dogs are your biggest threat because they get in, chase them all around. If they yeah. bounce off a post or something, they break a leg. How, how easy is to transport them? Because I might have to transport them uh, if, if when they're large. Uh, but large, yeah. I put them in the, in the trailer, horse trailer. Can, can you show me something? I don't know, or explain it. How, how, how would you handle? Like, so you, what do you do with the head, or, or, or two people has to handle it? For a full-grown ostrich, four men. Four men. Two men that are really know what they're doing can handle them, but boy, it's a little sporty. Okay. Four good, brave ostrich wranglers are required. Okay. Uh, and the, the, the first thing, okay, that's if we have to hook them. If you can get them into a um, catch pin, a small pin, you got half of the battle whipped. What mm. we do, if we decide we wanted to move these birds, we'd set up a catch pin, start feeding them inside. Mm. We'd get them fed in there, slam the gate closed so they are in about a 10 by 12 pin. Mm. Then I use a thing that is called a hood wink. A hood wink is basically, mm. it's got a, a long handle, 10 yeah. feet, and it's got a, a flexible, almost like a horseshoe yeah. on the end of it. Mm. We take a hood that has, mm. um, elastic on it yeah put that on the horseshoe end uh -huh. okay follow me so far yeah all right so the bird is like this we take the hood wake and we reach over top of the fence mm -hmm. so that we don't have to chase him yeah pull it over his head we pull it down the reason it's a horseshoe is because then we can pull it off uh -huh. the elastic on the hood goes around his neck and okay. he's hooded once the bird is it. hooded, yeah. you've got them pretty well under control because you stay behind them at all times. They mm. cannot kick backwards. Mm. Get a big handful of tail, mm. and you get three men. Handful yeah. of tail, handful of wing and tail, and you press it and just manhandle them. They don't yeah. see. They're much easier to handle. The key yeah. is to get them hooded. If we can't do that, then we have to get out and hook them with a shepherd's hook. If I, if I need help, can I hire you no. like this? No? no, we don't do that. Okay. I have enough being sporty here with mine. I've okay. been asked that a lot of times to just not get, get into it. Yeah. It's not high on my list of things I want yes. to do either. I understand. I, I understand. take my time and I get him into a catch pin so I don't have to have the rodeo. Yeah. Um, I've been hurt. Yeah, I totally understand. And it's mm. it's not that you're going to get hurt. After you've done it a time or two, mm. it, it, it's old hat. But that's how it's mm. done. Okay, awesome. If you're an eight, uh -huh. you will know the little boys. You will see their boys. Okay, okay, okay. that's right. Because the, the boys girls, have tools. They have tools And, and there, they and use it, that to urinate. They have to let it out. <laughs> yes, okay. So you can tell. Okay. Babies like this, there have been folks that have said mm -hmm. that they can vent sex them. That's all fine and dandy. You know, you can give it a shot. Sometimes yeah. you can tell, sometimes you can't. The problem <laughs> is that they literally will change sexes. We had wow. one in Tucson that uh -huh. was a hen, 
laid for two years, turned, became a male, oh. threw in with three hens, and fathered babies. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It was quite different. So just because <laughs> what you see is not what you get. <laughs> this is terrifying. You know, you know, that's the reason why I thought that the emu is going to be fine, because I seen the goat. I said, oh, my God. You know, they're so friendly. But the problem is... Uh, first the emus were picking on the ostriches and now the ostriches are picking on the emus. Uh, I, I so have, I'm gonna separate them, yeah. I'm, I've had I'm emus with my ostrich, always never had a problem. Oh really? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Because you know, I'm really worried about like sometimes they, they pick the head, but sometimes they're close to the eye, like I'm worried about They pick about everything. They pick everything. Oh yeah, they're always picking on each other. Yeah, I, I, I just, never had a problem with I, I, emus. I just love my emus too so just much. Give them like, a I don't, big enough space. Give them yes, enough big room. enough space, okay. Make sure they have two different water places where mm -hmm. they can, you know, water mm -hmm. here and there. Uh, okay, maybe just one more. What if, what if I'm uh, kind of I'm like limited in space? Like, unfortunately, I don't have big land. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is that? At least I should give them like a like a runway, some kind of place that they can. If I had my mm -hmm. choice, I would have something at least this big. This is probably what a seventy by seventy. Okay. If this is a grow print. This is not what we raise them in, but you could do quite well here. Okay. Um, with quite a few animals in there. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Bigger actually, is better, but do what mm -hmm. you have to do. Yeah. So, so yeah, the property is like 80 feet wide. Uh, uh, so at least uh, I, I can have like uh, 60, uh, uh, depending on the, because the the legal whatever uh, limitations. Okay, okay, 60 feet at least. By how long? Well, it, it's 130, but a thing is is, is on a mountain, so they that's not gonna. Yeah, they'll, they'll run up and down the mountains. Really? Sure. What they, what they, is not one it's like this. It's kind of it's kind of steep. Is it that steep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's so I'm I'm, I'm probably gonna build. A, I was thinking about to build a, a closed uh, one, like a barn, but but the, a lot of open windows and maybe the roof that can roll. So I can get a, a sunshine in. My brother is saying that that was he thinks it's very important to have sunshine. I think too. It's I mean, very important nice. to have sunshine. Yes, in. Big it's very important D. to have yeah. room for them to, to yeah. move. But if you can get a you know yeah. a, a sixty by sixty, sixty by eighty or ninety, okay. you're yes. in. Yes. Okay. In. Cool. Okay. Okay. Bigger is better. Yes. Always remember. Yes. 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 But whatever you have is what you have. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't need to be roofed. I mean, they, you can get them a little shade. They, they hate being in they a barn. Like they do not like it. What, what about uh, sometimes, you know, it freezes over there. Trees? They, they can take the freeze? Oh, they play out in the oh. snow. Oh, yeah. Play in the snow, okay. <laughs> we had almost three feet of snow here two years ago. They just sit down and they oh, get up in the okay. morning and walk so, off. Someone told me that the feathers have like a really bad drainage. and It's know. true. They will get wet. You need to get them out of the wind. Okay. Keep them out of the wind because they get soaked. They're not like a duck. Okay. They get wet. Yeah. So get them out of the wind. They'll they'll move around the best you can. Give them shade. Sometimes they will use it. Most of the time they won't. A tree is the perfect thing. Yeah, because the ducks have thick feathers and they put the grease or the the the. Not uh, an ostrich. But not an ostrich. Ostrich get wet. Yes, it gets wet exactly. Get them out of the. Where where are uh. you located? Uh, well, right now I'm in Banning, but, okay. but I'm planning to move to Lake Arrowhead. Well, Lake uh, Arrowhead's a whole different animal. It's more like we are up here, except they get more snow. Yeah. So uh, yeah. be prepared. They'll take the snow fine. Give, okay. them, give them a place to get out of mm -hmm. the snow if possible. Build them a little barn. Yes. If they want, they'll go in it. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, they're going to sit down yes. and just let it snow. They're like a horse. They'll stand right out in the yeah. rain. Yeah. Um, okay. Get them out of the wind. That's the key. Yeah, the Place key. Place to get out of the wind. Yes, wind protection. Okay, okay. That's a good That's a good tip. Let's go get your birds. So after we put the uh, ostrich babies in the cargo, it took me two hours to drive home. And I just made it home, luckily, because something happened with my differential. So thank God I made it home, because it looks like the oil exploded out. And... gushed out a lot now it's just drip but that's a big puddle of oil from a different shoe so later I found out that the uh, differential the teeth uh, the cog uh, teeth uh, was broken and it punched a hole and that's why the oil has leaked so I have to have it rebuilt okay you see some dodo wants to stay out of the sun instead of going in the shade. I hope they found the drink and the food.
feed. Yeah. Of course, they're super scared. And it looks like they don't even notice it. Since I don't really have the time, I wish I had, but I have to work on the fence and I have to do a lot of stuff. Clean up for a fence. So, I will give them time and I'll check back on the dish. Oh, they are still freaked out. So this is the other three ostriches that I got from a different breeder. They were actually really much calmer and the uh, emus were really nice with them. Uh, but unfortunately uh, the ostriches after the first uh, couple of days started picking on the emus head so I really felt bad about the emus being harassed so I decided to move them. Uh, move the ostriches together uh, eventually after um, after a week or two she loves the water she loves the water she wanna take showers and this is the massage Massaging uh, jacuzzi. Kind of. I should make them a jacuzzi. With those jets inside. But this can be fun too. Anybody else? Yeah, I knew it. It's a hot day and you guys love the water. Alright, that's enough. It's funny that the ostriches don't know what to do. They're just, I mean, two eating and one is just looking like, what are they doing? I mean, shouldn't you eat that? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I think you should eat it. It says a lot of protein. Come on. Come on, let's go for it. Come on. Eat it. So I got uh, 10 ostriches all together. Uh, four plus six uh, unfortunately out of the four one died probably impaction and the stress of traveling but uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm pretty lucky because some people had even uh, three ostriches dying after transport 